In this video, we'll be answering this question. Bakit po kaya sometimes nag-cloud yung timpla pero sa ibang scent na same formula hindi naman? I'm Bernadette, a fragrance specialist and a perfumer. I am also the founder of Centro Pinoy Academy. If you want to learn more about fragrances and perfumery for your crafts or your business, visit centropinoy.bcfragrance.com. So balik tayo sa question. Ang pag-cloud ng timpla sa mga produkto tulad ng pabango, like perfumes or colognes, ay nangyayari dahil sa mga maraming factors or reasons. Kahit na pare-pareho yung formula na ginagamit natin for iba-ibang mga scents. So usually yung mga nagkakaroon ng cloudiness, yun yung effect kapag nagkakaroon ng interaction yung oil with water. So the first possible reason is of course the differences in the fragrance composition. So ano ibig sabihin nun? Each fragrance compound has different components or meron siya iba-ibang ingredients kumbaga, to create that kind of smell. And because iba-iba sila ng components, iba-iba din yung properties nila and how they react with water. So doon nagkakaroon ng differences in terms of bakit itong oil na to nagkakaroon ng uh, cloudiness yung isa hindi clear naman ibang mga oils or compounds na hindi soluble sa water so meron din naman iba na soluble sa water so for example meron kaming oils usually for baby products and other uh, personal care products pag nilagay siya sa water based formulation or kahit mataas yung water content, clear pa rin siya. Hindi siya nagkakaroon ng cloudiness. Compared to other oils na kapag kahit konting water lang magkaroon dun sa formulation, nagiging cloudy agad yung mixture. The next is, of course, temperature. Yan. So, temperature also plays a big role because it affects yung solubility ng mga ingredients. Yung fluctuation in the temperature kung saan nakalagay yung product, that also brings about the cloudiness in the product. Pag nakalagay siya sa isang lugar na nagpa-fluctuate yung temperature from high to low, meaning from init to cold temperature, pag parati siyang na-expose sa ganong um, environment, nagkakaroon siya ng cloudiness. Simulation itself as well. Meron ibang mga ingredients na nilalagay natin that are humectant. Dahil mataas yung DPG content, na-absorb niya yung moisture from the atmosphere. And because of that, tumataas yung water content in that product. And the Reaction is, of course, magiging cloudy yung formulation ninyo because tumaas na yung water content and yung oils ninyo are not soluble with water. Example niyan yung, nga, yung mga reed diffusers na nakalagay sa bathrooms natin. Um, eventually, yung iba nagiging cloudy because of that. Next is the purity of ingredients. Now, for example, isang specific scent na magkaiba yung supplier. Pero yung timpla mo, pareho pa rin yung formulation, meaning pareho yung concentration na ginawa mo, pero magkaiba yung outcome. Nangyayari yon because magkaiba yung composition at quality ng ginagamit ng two different manufacturers. Okay, pwede may impurities yung iba, pwede din magkaiba yung concentration ng actual compound itself. So the last but most common cause of cloudiness is usually the purity of their alcohol. Ideally, ethyl alcohol with 95 to 97% should be used for making perfume products. Lower purity level contains impurities that can possibly react with your fragrance oils, leading to that unwanted cloudiness. So the next time you purchase your alcohol, make sure to ask your supplier what the purity is to make sure that you come up with a professional quality perfume. I hope maging clear kung bakit uh, nagkakaroon ng differences, bakit nagkakaroon ng instances na nagkakaroon tayo ng mga cloudiness sa ating formulations. If you have any other questions about perfumery, about ingredients, perfumery materials, don't hesitate to comment down below or follow me and send me a DM.